What's up people, it's Osas here with iPhone Hacks and I'm going to be showing you how to use Anemone, the alternative to Winterboard. So, as you'll see in the, the full article which is linked below, you're really going to want to just have Anemone and not have Winterboard and Anemone. It just doesn't work. There's too many conflicts. So, once you install Anemone, um, it'll actually automatically remove Winterboard if you have it. Anyways, so... Here it is. We'll just open it up just so I can show you guys. It'll give you a little splash screen and then it'll take you to your list of um, themes. And you can see here you get a little preview. This is my current theme. If I want to change it, all I do is hit disable and then I can able, enable another theme. Um, you download themes the same way you would if you were using Winterboard. You just go into Cydia, find the theme, download it, install it. Once you respring your device, your theme will show up here, and you can go ahead and enable it. So what's cool about this is if I want to change this, so, so I'll just disable that right there, it'll uncheck those, and then I will enable this. You'll see this list of the selections that you can make. Let's disable that, I'll show you another one, which has way more features. Let's go to obvious iOS 9. I can hit enable right there and you'll see all of these different options and if I want to deselect one all I do is I'll tap on that circle to deselect it like so um, you can of course mix and match so if I wanted to mix and match um, another theme with it like this like the respring logo I can go ahead and do that um, and then once I'm satisfied I can hit apply so let's change a couple more things here I'll get the the wood dock as you can see here so I'll turn off these other docks and everything else should be good and that'll hit apply it'll show me a preview so you see here that's what my apps gonna look like there's my wood dock and I hit apply right there it'll respring automatically there's the boot logo that I changed from the other application or the other theme um, and then it'll just start up again so it starts up you'll see that this theme changes the uh, whoop, changes the service buttons and the battery icon is also changed to these little dots um, of course you see my new applications and then if I want to change that, I'll, again, all I have to do, jump in here, it'll launch, and I can just disable, it'll automatically deselect those, and then let's try this theme, Iris, I'll disable that, which means I've disabled the boot logo, and again, hit apply, and you'll see the preview, and this is super helpful because with Winterboard, there was no preview. You could only see what the, the um, developer put up as screenshots, and then you would just have to base what yours would look like off of that. And then combining elements would be very hard to um, foresee what it would look like. So this is a huge advantage, because if I don't like what I see, I can just hit cancel, go back, and then change whatever I need to change. Um, I like this more better than Iris, so I'll do that. Hit apply. There's the preview of what it looks like. Hit apply once more. It'll reboot. There's the boot logo for the new um, theme that I just chose. And then it'll restart. It's really easy to use. The only difficult part is the installation. But that's only if you have already had Winterboard. That kind of causes some issues. So again, make sure to check out the full article on iPhone Hacks to detail how you install it if you do have Winterboard on your device. Because you're going to want to save your themes and then it'll work much better than if you don't follow the directions basically um, and you're also going to want to pay attention to your downloads so sometimes you may have to re-download an application again it depends on if you had Winterboard or not and then it'll save even if you bought it in Cydia um, it'll save whatever purchase you've made so that you don't have to re-buy any apps it's just going to be annoying if you have a hundred themes you're going to have to re-download all of them so that's uh, something that you will need to pay attention to. But yeah, again, just go to themes, 
you want to make sure that your theme is um, applicable to both Winterboard and an enemy just because if you want to switch back so you can see here it will work with either Winterboard or an, an enemy. I do hope they change the name because not only is it a kind of a handful to say but it's just not something that appeals. Winterboard sounds a lot cooler. Um, so that's really the brief overview of an enemy. The installation process is probably the only thing you're really going to need to pay attention to but again once you use the app it's just like Winterboard you're just going to select your theme make sure you have the items that you want in the list and then you're just going to hit apply and then apply once more your device will restart and you'll have your new icons appear on your home screen so if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like button um, also make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this um, and thanks for watching guys.